Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. It is your favorite real estate agent Kura and today we are in breathtaking Madison Park. I have these two amazing condos to show you guys today. They are just hovering above the water giving you that true lake life experience. One's 1.8 million, the other is $600,000 and you guys are going to want to stay tuned for this because both of them are absolutely breathtaking. If you guys enjoy content like this, Please feel free to subscribe, it helps my channel grow immensely. And without further ado, let's get going. So this two bedroom, two bath condo comes with just over 1500 square feet of living space. And it was originally designed to host VIPs for the Seattle World Fair. I mean, how unique of a touch is that? The best thing about this is it's picturesque windows right in front of me, but we'll get to that in a bit because I want to take you guys to this living space because we have this granite fireplace right in front of me. It really states the elegance of this living room, but that's not the main part over here because directly in front of me, you have views of Lake Washington. The 520 bridge is right in front of me as well. You have Issaquah Highlands to my right, and yes, you have peaks of downtown Bellevue, Washington, right off the bat this is only one of two balconies as well and so stay tuned for later on in this video as you see even better views over here you have more views of lake washington and that 520 bridge and in the distance over there you can see a bit of the skyline of seattle washington i mean like how good does that look you have parks down below over here as well and more parks around this Whole neighborhood it's really a nice place this Matthews Beach area is a great place within Seattle if you guys want to learn more I put my email right over here for you guys to see more but here is the dining room area you have even better views of that 520 bridge and the lake area you also see the park from over here and I love the amount of light it just spills onto your dining room and also your living room these windows cover these whole sets of walls over here so you don't miss a beat of Lake Washington and everything flows so well because you enter your kitchen space right over here you have granite countertops on either side you have this lovely sink lovely electric stove top right off the bat too and everything is just designed so well you have tons of cabbage on this side and that's not all because you have tons of cabbage over here as well a good size fridge and for a condo in downtown seattle this is truly a very good size kitchen as you go on this way a little bit you go more towards the entryway that we first started off in in front of me you have your living room but going to the left over here this is when you enter your first bathroom in this condo it's a very nice size over here you have your toilet a nice little vanity and a shower area everything's a good size very modern here very good lighting as well and it also has heated flooring which you would not expect going in here these magnificent views are views within the first bedroom within your home over here you can see the dogs playing down over here in the park the 520 bridge the clouds are kind of coming in here but on a sunny day the light shines so brightly in this bedroom and throughout this whole condo it is truly a spectacle to behold but talking more about this bedroom you do have a very nice size bedroom over here enough size to fit a queen size bed with your vanities to the side very comfortably to my left you also have this wardrobe space enough space to fit a lot of your clothes i love the built-ins they include it's also kind of built in like a desk because you do have these holes for a plug-in just in case you want to put your laptop here and a seat down as well so that is very versatile you see the door here to your main bedroom but we're gonna go around here back through the dining room you have these double doors entering through your first bedroom you can close that door off for extra privacy but we see more of these stunning lake washington views over here we walk through the kitchen area because there's multiple ways to get to your main bedroom as we walk past this walkway we have the main bathroom over here you have another closet space and then you have this door this door is what leads you towards your main bedroom area as you walk on through everything gets cozy in here you also have your washer and dryer located within your main bedroom and of course we cannot skip out on the fact that you have 
more tremendous views of Lake Washington. I mean, like check out these windows over here. They don't miss a corner of this wall. It is truly a wall to wall window. You have another entry towards a deck over here so that you can enjoy more of that crisp air here in the Pacific Northwest. These decks are huge as well as they provide tons of space for relaxation. And look at over here, you do have a ton of space to put a king size bed. You can put nice stands over here as big as you need. It has the space for it. And this room is designed so well because you have the closet space right over here tons of built-ins tons of space in here and my camera did die right before the bathroom but i love how the bathroom and the closet area combine to create this luxurious effect it's very nice within this condo and tops it off perfectly in addition to that 1.8 million dollar condo that we just saw we also have this one listed just under six hundred thousand dollars you have the same lake washington views the same 520 bridge views you also can see the cascade mountains from here hovering right above the water so that when you're on the end over there you really feel like you are living in the water which is exactly why people buy these kind of places it is a very small apartment listed around 500 square feet, but you have a good sized kitchen overlooking your balcony area in which you can get those spectacular views of the water. Your dining room is very well placed as well, right next to that balcony and to the living room, make it a very easy flow within this condo. You have a good sized bedroom and one bathroom included over here. But the star of the show has to be these huge windows bringing in so much light. You can see even more of Madison Park over here. It is such a gorgeous neighborhood. The water is so peaceful as you see the waves rush up on shore. Everything is just done so well in this condo and the outside just adds to this luxurious effect you get around this area. So tell me down below which condo you guys prefer. Do you prefer the $1.8 million condo that has a corner unit top floor view of Lake Washington, the 520 bridge and the Cascade Mountains? Or do you prefer this smaller $600,000 condo over here in which you have a good sized kitchen, a beautiful balcony looking at those same mountain water and bridge views, but for a whole lot less. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I would love to know. If you guys enjoy videos like this, please feel free to subscribe. It helps my channel grow immensely. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Wow. Today I have a treat for you guys. We are in Crystal Condominiums here in Seattle, Washington. And we'll be touring this top floor penthouse unit with panoramic views of the Seattle skyline and of course amazing views of the Space Needle. This condominium has to be one of my favorites because of the fusion of sleek modern design with terracotta touches makes this very distinctive and unlike any other condominium you will see here in Seattle, Washington. And to kick things off here, I have to start with this main attraction because you have an expansive wraparound rooftop terrace with overhead heat lamps, several planted terracotta pots, a private spa, amazing city, and space needle views. This rooftop terrace actually wrap around this whole penthouse unit over here so that you can get amazing views of the city no matter where you are within this unit. This also has two bedrooms, three bathrooms, and just over 2,000 square feet of living space. And I cannot wait to show you guys this listing. If you guys love videos like this, please feel free to subscribe. It helps my channel grow immensely. And without further ado, I cannot wait. Let's get going. Entering this pet house is going to be unlike any other experience we have had before on this channel because once you walk through these massive double doors, you are greeted with a wall of windows that covers every single square inch. It gives you these gorgeous panoramic views of the Seattle skyline. Off the kitchen area, you can see the Space Needle, but we'll get to that later because this 
penthouse unit has such an exceptional floor plan. You have your two en suites divided by an office area over here with an opaque door, very nicely designed. But we're gonna first start off at the first living room over here because you have amazing views of the skyline. There's a nice cozy element added to this living space with the fireplace that is dual sided for both of the living spaces that we'll get to soon here. But one thing I need to mention are these oversized sliding glass doors over here leading to your wraparound rooftop terrace so that you can get that indoor outdoor connection that is so vital here in washington state as you walk outside too, your rooftop terrace is covered and has heat lamps so that you can stay comfortable no matter what season it is. And of course, you have the amazing views of the Space Needle over there, your spa area all the way down at the end, and it wraps around all the way to the first bedroom of the home that we will get to in a bit. Entering back on in from that wraparound rooftop terrace, you can see the dining room just past this living room space over here, maintaining those wall-to-wall -wall windows so that you do not miss a beat of those panoramic Seattle skyline views. Comment down below, how much do you guys like this skyline? Does it rank top 10 for you? Or what are your top 10 skylines? I love this dining room as well because it has these very fun lights on top that kind of have this wave effect and they kind of droop down onto the dining room adding more character just like everything inside this pet house. This dining room takes advantage of miraculous Seattle skyline views. And so let's move away from the dining room for now because we have more living spaces to cover. We have to check out this fireplace first because I love the design of it. I love how it kind of separates the two areas, making it so that people can still communicate within those areas, but they do have a little separation so that one side can be doing one thing while the other side can obviously be enjoying those amazing views over there. And this penthouse was really meant for entertaining with this massive open concept design. You have a large island, multiple living spaces with an expansive dining room. You can host events here, New Year's Eve. Imagine the sunsets here as well as you invite your friends over for a dinner. It must be marvelous. This living space as well takes advantage of those miraculous skyline views. As you can see more of it over here as you have another entryway to your rooftop terrace over there. In every single room within this penthouse, you do have access to your rooftop terrace because it is the main attraction. Going off of this living space over here, we do finally enter your massive chef's kitchen. And my favorite part about this kitchen is because this is where you can finally get good views of the Space Needle within the home. Right over your double wine fridge over here with this honed in granite countertop has these amazing Space Needle views to your left. You can see your large expansive farm sink as well with your gas stove area, tying everything in so seamlessly with that outstanding view of the Space Needle. I love these granite countertops because it goes with the theme of the home. To see a white quartz countertop in this penthouse wouldn't fit all too well. And so I love the theme that they went with over here. I also cannot forget to mention that there is a built-in espresso machine for all of you coffee lovers out there and it's a very nice one. All the appliances here are very nice, high-end and new, so you do not have to worry about replacing any appliance over here and you also have that bonus with that nice espresso machine. So let's extend past the kitchen over here because you have your kind of office library space over here. It is decked out with built-ins all over the wall I love the built-in desk they include because it is a big L-shape letting you do all your work without running out of desk space. I love this opaque door that they include because it's nice and easy, keeps things stylish within here as well. And it flows so nicely because as you come out of this office area, you go towards your master suite. But we're gonna check that out very, very soon here because we're gonna first enter the first bathroom of this place. It is a nice size powder room. That's a good size vanity with a toilet area. But the one impressive thing I need to mention has to be the walls because it has this kind of bronze 
paintbrush effect to it. It looks spectacular. I love the tiny details within this top floor penthouse unit. It is truly luxurious. And as we extend off the bathroom area over here, this is when Jaws hit the floor because you enter these double doors to enter your master ensuite over here. And it is wonderful. You have this gas fireplace over here that is double sided. On the other side, you have your soaker tub in which you can enjoy that nice fire as you relax after a tough day. Going back to the bedroom though, you do have another entrance to your rooftop terrace. And this is where your spa area lies as well. I mean, to have a penthouse unit with a hot tub overlooking the Space Needle in Seattle, you have to drop a like for that one. I mean, that's too good. As we get off of this rooftop terrace again, you can notice the ceilings in here are so big. I love the support beam in both of the bedrooms because they add more character and your bed space is plenty big and like i said the back wall over here has a sort of texture to it it feels so nice it looks so cool there's so many minute details that matter when you're spending 2.3 million dollars on a penthouse unit here in seattle and you have all of those tiny details within this one over here so as we kind of continue on with this massive bedroom over here, you do have your ensuite bathroom as well. You do see another glimpse of that double sided fireplace leading to your soaker tub on the other side. It is encased in this oversized marble making things look so elegant. You also have a dual vanity sink right in front of you with a large mirror as well and directly to the right you have a glass stand-in shower that has a ton of modern touches to it this is truly a spa-like experience within a penthouse unit in seattle with space needle views skyline views this penthouse has everything and as we continue off the bathroom you do have a ginormous walk-in closet as well we built it all over the wall making things accessible for you and your partner and that will wrap up this massive bedroom as we can continue down the whole condo over here because on the other side you do have another ensuite bedroom over here you have more amazing views of the seattle skyline and of course it comes with its own bathroom in there as well the bathroom is very nice and also comes with its own walk-in closet and leaving that bedroom you do go back to your expansive living room over here and that will end off the tour with the amenities over here you do have a beautiful rooftop deck a state-of-the-art spa gym anything you really want you have the monthly payments for this will be roughly around forty two hundred dollars a month which include all of your utilities, concierge, all of the amenities that come with this place as well. And so it's well worth it for this price in order to have amazing views of the Seattle skyline over here, the Space Needle, your own spa area on your wraparound rooftop terrace. I mean, there's no more luxury than you can get from that, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Comment down below if you guys like stuff like this. Please feel free to subscribe as well as it really helps my channel grow. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Hello everybody and welcome back to the video. It is your favorite real estate agent, Kura. And today we are in beautiful downtown Seattle, Washington. I have an absolute treat for you guys today. We are right next door to Lumen Field, home of the Seattle Seahawks. And this one bedroom, one bath condo I have to show you guys today has a direct view of it. It also has this amazing view of the Puget Sound area. You have the skyline right over here, the Seattle Ferris wheel with the Space Needle in the distance. And this is just one part of this rooftop deck area. Let me go show you guys more. And check it out, more of this rooftop deck area. There is a wine cellar right behind me. That's amazing. You also have this little lounge area overlooking those skyline views. 
Also to my right, you also have a kitchen and a lounge area that overlooks the Puget Sound. You have the gym right behind me as well. It's an amazing gym overlooking Lumen Field. You also have that rooftop deck right behind you looking at T-Mobile Park and Lumen Field. Let's go check it out. And walking onto the second rooftop deck area, you have views of the Puget Sound, the port area, and then as you curve on over here, you have all this bench seating, you have grills over here as well, but the main focus has to be that Lumen Field is right behind me. So during Hawks games, especially Sunday night, Thursday night, those prime time games, you can be right over here on the rooftop, cheering along with everyone in the stadium. How advantageous is that? The energy is just so electric in that stadium. I bet you can hear it from here and you can enjoy it too. You have the skyline directly in front of me and that will lead us to the downstairs area where I can show you guys the condo. Let's go check it out. When first entering this Seattle condo, you are greeted by the Lumen Field logo centered inside your living room. It looks spectacular and what a way to kick off this tour. To my left, you have an area to put on your shoes, take them off, and then directly to my right, you have the first and only bathroom of the home. It's so relaxing here, so many neutral colors in this home. You have this large quartz countertop, huge mirror with modern light fixtures. You have laundry in here as well. You have a nice size shower area with good tiling as well. This was built in 2018, so everything in here is modern and up to date. To my right, you have the kitchen area and that kitchen area goes with that whole Lumen Field logo thing. It is centered right in your kitchen. It looks spectacular. You also have this large countertop space right over here on both sides as well. You have a full size fridge, four burner gas stove with an oven, a dishwasher, and a microwave here in Seattle with a full size sink. This kitchen area is amazing. It goes with all those neutral colors of the cabinetry space as well. And now walking this way, this is the absolute highlight of this home. You have the Lumen Field logo centered in the living room. You have these large windows just showcasing it, bringing in a ton of light. And could you imagine the energy during the Seahawks game? Right down below there is everyone's checking in to go cheer on the Hawks. I bet it's electric fun and this view is absolutely spectacular. Going down further this way, we have the bedroom area over here and this is a very sizable bedroom. It starts off with this closet area and this closet area you would think would be small since it's 700 square feet, but it is sizable. You have these built-ins right over here, lots of space, very modular. You can do whatever you really want with this area. I like it a lot. And then continuing down this way, the huge window theme continues over here. You have large windows showcasing Lumen Field, the skyscrapers, some of the Christmas lights that are down there right next to Lumen Field. What a spectacular view and a spectacular room to have in this condo. It's very sizable as well. Lots of space in here. You can fit a large bed, two nightstands very comfortably. You also have a desk area right over here. You have another one in your living room space as well. So lots of space to get your work done, relax, and of course, cheer on the Hawks. These Seattle condos are amazing. And to know that there's a condo right next to Lumen Field like this, I'm such a big football fan. And knowing that you can just get that electric energy from right within your home or a nice rooftop deck setting is amazing. It's a sunset time right now so that the skyline is starting to come on and all the lights, all the pretty colors are starting to arrive. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys want more content like this, please feel free to subscribe and help my channel grow immensely. Thank you to the Listen Agent Mike for allowing me to show this listing today. Let's enjoy this view of Lumen Field and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is your favorite real estate agent Kura and today we are in iconic Queen Anne High School. This high school was built in 1908. It ran for about 80 years or so then shut down for a couple years, turned into apartment buildings and then now in 2023 there are condos that I get to show you guys and they are breathtaking condos as well. This particular condo has amazing views of the Space Needle, the Seattle skyline. I cannot wait to show you guys this particular condo. If you guys wanna see more homes like this, please feel free to subscribe and like. I will go all around Seattle showing you guys properties exactly like this. So let's get on through. I'm so excited to show you guys this one today. So I wanted to do a little bit of an evening episode for you guys today because I wanted to show you the Seattle skyline at nighttime. It's absolutely breathtaking, especially from this angle. And I've never seen it on YouTube from this angle. So I'm going to give you guys a treat today. First, we're going to start though with this kind of closet area. This is a very good sized closet area. You have nice storage in here as well. A good storage for one bedroom apartment. It kind of goes on. This is your bedroom area. So we're going to start off over here with the bedroom area. It has these stairs that kind of lead up towards it. It's actually very nice and peaceful in here. It's a good size as well. You have this little nook over here for your bed, but it's also super unique and I'll show you exactly why. So you have this like little lifted closet space. It actually goes up pretty far up. So you have storage all the way up here, but it's really cool. You can almost just kind of get up here kind of just take a seat, it's really cool. So when I get on down from here, you have another elevated level and this elevated level is really cool. You even need a step that they put over here to get up here, but you have like a little balcony and this balcony has all these railings around it as well. They have it set up as kind of like an office area, but just down here, you can see amazing views of the space needle just peering through, the lights are starting to come on now that it's starting to be nighttime here in Seattle, it's absolutely gorgeous. So let's go on downstairs, kind of check that out. Now coming down from this bedroom area, I did want to mention one thing to you guys. This flooring beneath me used to be the old gym flooring for this whole high school. So this is really cool because you have a little piece of the history of the high school in your own condo. That's really neat. And I think that's a nice little thing to talk about with your guests or your friends. This is the bathroom that's in this condo and it's a very nice sized bathroom as well. You have this really nice cool vanity. It's kind of like a bluish green. It ties very nicely with the red wood that they have all throughout this condo. It's very nice. Very nice large mirror over here as well. And I love the tiling on the back of the shower area as well. Decently modern fixtures. I mean like nothing too modern, but you're not looking for crazy modern over here. You're looking for kind of like quirky, some nice character and a good price. And talking about a good price, this price is listed at $585,000. So it is very affordable in the Seattle area. It's now starting to dim. So now that it's starting to dim, I'm gonna skip the kitchen for now. We'll get back to it because I wanna show you guys the skyline of Seattle and it is in full swing right now. Look at all those lights. I'm like, this is one of my favorite things, especially this angle. So from the freeway, if you drive, going kind of like south, you have this angle of Seattle and it's absolutely gorgeous every single time. And I'm so excited to show you guys this. And through these humongous windows that I have to mention as well, I'm like, what a way to bring the outside into this condo and make this space seem so big as well because you have these tall ceilings. It goes a little industrial as well because you do have the pipes that kind of run through the ceilings as well. You see the fan over there too. And then talking more about this living room, it's just a nice, big, cozy space, of course, highlighted by these large windows with those space needle views, with those Lake Union views and skyline views. I mean, like what else could you ever want, especially in Seattle? And so now we can kind of go over to the kitchen area. Finally, I just had to show you guys that. But this kitchen area is super nice. I love the island they include. The granite countertops that are here are just fabulous for this apartment. The redwood ties so nicely with everything else. And I like this kind of like fogged glass effect that they have on the cabinets. You can kind of like, you can half see what's in there, half see what's not. It's really cool. And then this cabinet just continues on so you don't really suffer in kind of storage space though to one bedroom, one bath condo. 
And then your electric stove is right over here. You have a nice good farm sink that kind of protrudes out. I love that style of farm sink. You can fit a nice good fridge over here. And then to just end it off, you do of course have your laundry area right over here. That's very important for a condo. You do not want to be traveling up and down the stairs doing your laundry. That's no fun. And so we'll go over here to end it off, guys. What do you think about this Queen Anne High School condo? This high school was a high school back in 1909, transferred to condos now in 2023. And I get to show you guys these beautiful views. They were once apartments as well. And I'm just so glad that I get the opportunity today to show you guys this amazing view and this amazing condo. If you guys wanna see more things like this, please feel free to subscribe. Also like today's video. I'll be seeing you guys later. Have a good day. Check out that view. Welcome to Insignia Towers, located here in the heart of downtown Seattle, Washington. Located at 583 Battery Street lays this two-bedroom, two-bathroom condo here in Seattle, Washington with west-facing views of the Puget Sound, Olympic Mountains, and amazing skyline views as well. And this condo has just under 1,400 square feet and has so much personality within with a Murphy bed, chef's kitchen, and plenty more for you guys to see. If you guys like this kind of video, please feel free to subscribe. It helps my channel grow immensely. And without further ado, Let's get going. To my left, you have a coat closet, but you have the first bedroom of the home right over here. And the first thing that I notice is these immaculate floor to ceiling windows showing the beautiful Puget Sound to you. You have Seattle skyline glistening over here. And as a little bonus as well, you have the Olympic mountains right over there to my right. And on a clear day like today, Everything looks so beautiful here in downtown Seattle, Washington. It's a cold day, it's 20 degrees outside here in January, but it's so clear, everything's so beautiful. And this room is such a nice size as well. You can fit a good size bed, lots of storage, and impeccable start to this beautiful condo over here. And as we continue down this way, you can get a little peek of that open concept design, but we're gonna go into the first bathroom of the home because it is luxurious, just like everything else in this condo. You have this nice countertop over here, and the vanity has this nice floating design to it as well. Large mirror with the modern light fixtures included in here. And you also have this window right over your bathtub bringing in more natural light so that you can also get views of the Puget Sound and Seattle skyline. As you're in here, you do not want to miss out on any of those views and this bathroom does not let that happen. As you continue on out of here, you do have your laundry area right over here, but then you continue on to this open concept design. Everything flows so nicely in here. To my left, you have your living space. Directly behind me, you have your dining room and then you have your kitchen right over here as well. But I really want to bring you guys to this living space because just like that first bedroom, you have these immaculate floor to ceiling windows showcasing Puget Sound, Seattle skyline to you, but even more, the Olympic Mountains are to my right over there as well. Everything looks so beautiful on this clear day, bringing in tons of natural light. And also, there's these chandeliers throughout this home that have these crystal effects. You have this one over here. They have another one in your dining room area that we'll be checking out here soon. But let me bring you guys to this kitchen first. It's a true chef's kitchen and everything is so well integrated because you won't even tell where your dishwasher is. It's nicely hidden right next to your sink and so is your fridge. Your fridge area is nicely integrated with your countertop as well and your cabinetry. And you also have this glossy white finished cabinetry up on top here that have this nice soft open features to them. Lots of cabinetry space in here. And when looking at your countertop space over here, it leaks onto the backsplash, making everything fit so seamlessly within this condo. You also have this pantry space right in front of me. And the nice thing about it is that it has a wine cooler within it as well. Tons of storage, cubbies, drawers for your spices, anything like that. Storage is a big deal when you have a condo here in Seattle. As you go on this way, you can see more of the personality of the home shine on through as you have the wall directly to my right, the accent wall with the black and white color in. It looks so nice, it's refreshing since everything looks so modern in here. But you have this nice chandelier 
shining down this dining room table, which is a very sizable dining room table. You can host many things in here, Thanksgiving, Christmases, even just friends giving to friends gatherings. Imagine the sunset time during those as well. And then as we continue on over here, you can see more of those floor to ceiling windows as your balcony space is directly to my left over here. And then the Puget Sound is just shining within your dining room, bringing in tons of natural light for you. And then we can continue on this way because one thing I really need to mention to you guys is that Seattle, sometimes you can have limited space. And so when you have a nice little dense space like this, it's always nice when you can include something like a Murphy bed. So when I pull this down over here, you can see that it does turn into a bed. And so this can be an extra room. So you can really make this into a three bedroom, two bath if you'd really like, which is a nice addition here. Let me put this all the way back up. You can tell how easy it is to just put down and up. This is such a unique feature and you see them so often within Seattle, New York areas, big cities, but I love that it's included in here. You also have a built in desk space over here as well with tons of storage. I love this den area with these sliding glass doors as well. Lots of sunlight seeing that awesome Seattle skyline. We'll be checking out the balcony here soon. That's directly behind me. But first I want to show you guys the last bedroom and bathroom of this condo. So as you walk on through here, everything gets so comfortable as all the sound dampens around you because of the carpet. And then it has its own bathroom included in here. As you first walk in, you notice these double vanity sinks over here with a floating vanity as well. The countertop space looks so sleek as well as you include this ginormous mirror with these three modern light fixtures. Everything ties together so nicely. You also have this standing glass shower over here with all these modern fixtures. I love the backsplash here as well. Everything just looks so good with these neutral colors everywhere in this bathroom. And then as you step on out of here, the first thing that I have to notice would be these floor to ceiling windows within this bedroom, bringing in a ton of light, just like throughout this whole condo. You have more Seattle skyline over here as it appears to the left, all the way to the right, seeing more buildings within Seattle. And if you guys want more information about Seattle, Washington, I'll leave my email right over here for you guys to contact me. I'd love to tell you guys more and to teach you guys more. It's a very exciting place. And you have all this space within this room. I love the chandelier up top shining down on your bed area, which is sizable. You can fit a king size bed here if you ever so please. And then going down over here to end off this home, you do have the closet area within this bedroom. It's a very nice size, lots of drawers, hanger spaces, cubbies for your shoes, pants, jackets, anything of that nature. So let's continue back to the balcony so that I can show you guys the rest. Let's go. And to end off this tour for you guys, I want to take you guys past the Murphy bed in the dining room area. So I can show you guys this balcony so you guys can truly take in the Seattle skyline on this beautiful clear day outside. Everything looks so beautiful as the Puget Sound is glistening over there with the sunlight bouncing off the waters. Everything is so peaceful over here. It's built in 2015. And so if you guys want more information, I'll leave more information down below in the description for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this kind of content, please feel free to subscribe. It helps the channel grow immensely. And I hope you guys enjoyed this view of the skyline of the Puget Sound. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.